My two ebooks, Carve the Fuck Up and Do Not As Lean Body Bible, the best ebooks if you want to get seriously lean and live a seriously simple, basic digital nomad lifestyle and save a shit ton of money, earn great money, meet cool people, inspire people, and get the best results you've ever got could imagine in your life. Go do another.com, get my latest ebooks, game changes, guaranteed. I'm going to tell you this video, I'm going to talk about oxidative stress and uh, what does that mean. It's basically free radicals, free radicals, antioxidants. And if you have more free radicals than antioxidants, basically it's called oxidative stress. Google it up if you, want to, if you want. If you're really into the tech stuff, just Google it up. I'm here to explain it very simply so the everyday person can understand it. Let me just shut this door. And the deal is, the number one symptom of oxidative stress is fatigue. Fatigue. That's number one. Number one. Second would be inflammation. People have really puffy faces. They don't have any leanness. They got their face looks like a pumpkin. So if you have fatigue. And a pumpkin face as signs of oxidative, oxidative stress, a lot of free radicals in your body, probably a lot of high blood sugar. You know? Not from consuming sugar, but from consuming too much fat. And now you develop a lot of insulin resistance, so your elevated blood sugar fasting and blood sugar levels are always constantly high, causing a lot of oxidation going on there, oxidative stress, so you have a lot of fatigue from the elevated blood sugar. And insulin resistance, which can lead to low glycogen storage. So you, you run out of steam, you have you know you coffee, coffee, coffee. Basically, a really good way to see if your oxidative stress levels increased if you have a lot of stimulants. You're just constantly on the coffee, just can't stop having all the coffee or the stims or the, the ADD pills or whatever. And you got fatigue as well. Even on the stims, your fatigue's quite deep. You know, you need a lot of stims just to keep, just to do basic function, you know. Basic stuff, just answering phone calls, you need to have the stims, otherwise you just can't do it. So that's an example of high oxidative stress, fatigue, and pumpkin face. So, as I talk about sugar increases oxidative stress, uh, Mick the Vegan did a video the other day talking about oxidative stress and sugar. Uh, well, it's actually higher blood sugar, you know, and the symptom of that is oxidative stress, but the higher blood sugar is from the eating the, the Western diet, the paleo diet, low carb, elevated fat diet. So it creates insulin resistance, which increases your blood sugar levels, sustained fasting levels, high blood sugars consistently. Not just a spike and then back to normal, like up and staying up. That's diabetes, you know, pre-diabetes. So insulin resistance, so you have that. You have a lot of oxidative stress in the cells, so that's fatigue. That's why people with type 2 by D's, they're just like, Oh my god, coffee, coffee, coffee. That's why guys like Mick the Vegan who hardly, they eat a lot of fatty stuff or you know, they're calorie restricts. So they stay slim, but they have no real energy. You know, they're not out there running marathons or smashing on the bike up mountains. They don't have any real energy and there's no stamina. So it's high levels of oxidative stress going there. The first symptom is fatigue. So you can be a vegan and have a high level of oxidative stress from just not eating enough carbohydrates. Then you reach for fat. And then when you have a bit of carbs and your blood sugar stays up and then you have all these free radicals going on and all this oxidation going on, which you want more information, just Google it up. I'm here to explain to the simple person how they can reduce the oxidative stress. One, step one, decrease your fat intake. That increases your insulin sensitivity, which decreases your insulin resistance, and all of a sudden your, your sugars are going to straighten your cells. Your glucose and your fructose, your carbohydrates are going to straighten your cells. You've got more stable blood sugar. Your energy starts to go up over time, over days, hours, weeks, months. Your just, you know, muscle gly glycogen storage is increasing. You have more stamina. You can just get more done in the day. And you eventually find you don't need stimulants at all. And if you ever do take them, you're like, maybe just for a race or something, your time trial or something like that. You don't, you don't wake up and just have stimulants just to talk to people. That's how, that's how tired people are. They have to have a, a stimulant, a cup of coffee, just to like talk to someone. It's crazy, you know? It's insane. People would fall asleep at the cafe to have a coffee. That's, that's not good. So if you're using stimulants recreationally, and you have high-level oxidative stress, you need to get off that. Stimulants also cause oxidative stress. You know, it's coffee, tea, stuff like that. So, because they're neurotoxic, that's how caffeine works. It creates adrenaline release. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's oxidative stress in a nutshell. To decrease it, decrease your fat intake. And go to bed early, that's another thing as well. Also, oxidative stress, you have pumpkin face, just a puffy face. Fatigue, number one, fatigue. Second one, pumpkin face, there's no, there's no like, you can't see a jaw. It's just like, you know, pumpkin face, it's very round. Um, 
and what else we got? We also got sensitivity to light. You have people, people out, they go outside and they're like, oh, so bright. They're going to wear sunglasses all the time. They're just like really like, they look like a little mole rat that's coming out of the mole, the burrow, the mole, mole burrow. So that's another sign of oxidative stress is people just can't handle the light. They've always got the sunnies on. They're just like, oh, you know, go, go down to the beach on a summer's day and you see people like, oh, you know, they drive the car there. They're like bone white. They're just like, oh, you know, mad fatigue. Coffee in the hand, just like, just made a cigarette in the hand as well. It's like, oh, oxidative stress. So we see these vegans on YouTube just all looking really anemic and like, oh, <laughs> no energy, no, like, oh, marathon, no way, 5K, no way, time trial, no way, no exercise, can't do that. Just full fatigue, jump cut. They're so fatigued, they're coming, what they're going to say, you got to do a jump cut. They're like, oh, what? Oh, what? Jump cut to cover the oxidative stress in their languaging, in their conversation. <laughs> so, yeah. That's oxidative stress on the banana skin, too much dietary fat, late nights, too many stims, uh, animal products can cause that as well. Just bad blood, free radicals going crazy in there. Right? Increase your antioxidant rich foods, fruits, vegetables, your starches, increase your sugars in there. So you've got enough glucose for your thyroid. Then under, when you get under carbs, increase the free radical damage as well. So if you want more information, just Google it up. I'm here to explain it in simple, layman's, everyday person's terms. Even an eight-year-old, an eight-year-old kid can understand my videos. If an eight-year-old kid can't understand the video, then the person didn't understand the topic enough. Oxidative stress caused from elevated blood sugar levels, caused from excess dietary fat, which blocks the insulin receptor site, so the sugar can't go into the cells, and the body has to release more insulin which increases more oxidative stress and the blood sugar is going up, oxidative stress. We decrease that by decreasing the fat intake. The insulin and receptor sites come cleaner because there's less fat coating them up. Sugar is just going straight in there. The body has to produce less insulin. Fasting insulin levels, elevated insulin levels gone. Fasting insulin levels drop down to lower levels. We start to become more catabolic. Insulin is an anabolic hormone. We gain weight from that. Simple explanation. Pull out the fat. The body fat just sucks in over time. Oxidative stress level goes down. Fatigue goes down. Vitality, drug-free stamina, stimulant-free stamina, mental clarity go up and up. And that, my friends, is oxidative stress and banana skin. If I can't explain it that simple, they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Simple as that.